Hi, I'm Carol Boucher Duncan, and I'm a MomSpace.com contributing mom and mother of four. And I'm here today to introduce you to my very good friend and extraordinary person, Holly Colley. She's a model, she's the mother of 12 children, and she still looks like a model. She has so much wonderful experience with having that many kids that we've asked her to start a series for us. So you're going to get all of her great tips and advice right here on MomSpace anytime you need it. So stay tuned for the Holly Collie Show. So great to see you. It's been such a long time. And I have here today Holly Collie, who is the mother of 12 children. And she's from Wimberley, Texas. And she's the star of our newest show. And we have her here today to do all kinds of parenting tips and mother tips, because she is the most amazing mom I certainly have ever met. And she's here today. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Thank you. And, and, you know, it's great to see you. Uh, we worked together years ago. We go back a long time. We sure do. 20 some years. <laughs> back before we were, either of us were married or had any children. That's and, right. and now, so to fill us in a little bit. What's been happening with you? Tell me what's going on in your life. What have you been doing? Well, um, 18 years ago, met Bruce Colley. He was playing for the Eagles at the time, Philadelphia Eagles. I was here with QVC, working with you, modeling for Joan Rivers, and um, having a starting family. Bruce and I got married in about eight, ten weeks after we met each other, and started um, talking about children. And in the NFL, it's well, you should not have children until the off season, so that the dad can be there and he doesn't have to be at camp or games. Or, so. We started struggling with that as to when to start a family because we had only known each other for about, like I said, eight to ten weeks before we were actually married. Um, and other people said, well, you should know each other for two years before you start a family. Um, but about two months later, we got pregnant with our oldest, Devin. And then uh, 11 months after that, we had Jordan. 11 months after that, I actually had three children when my oldest was, I already had my third and my oldest was still one. And no twins. Wow. <laughs> Can't get them any closer than that. <laughs> right. So that's, um, that's been the story, and we moved to Texas. Bruce retired from football. We started uh, an excavation dirt company and did that for years while we were growing our family. And then we ended up last year, we traveled the country for two years. We got a big, like a tour bus mm -hmm. with our family and traveled. And as we still had, we had 11 at that time. Mm -hmm. And I've then, been on that bus, yes, by the way. that's it's right. Very fun. <laughs> a few more on board, no problem. <laughs> that's right. right. Everybody has their own bunk yes. and big sofas and big room. It's it's really it's really fun. And then we um, came back to Wimberley last year and actually took over. We had a development property there that Bruce had built, and we ended up taking over um, the two restaurants that were already running there, a Mexican food and a steakhouse. And then we actually have opened a third since we've been there. So life has really changed with the restaurant. Yes. <laughs> so, so, okay, so we have, you have 12 children. Yes. Uh -huh. We had one pretty much a year. We homeschool them. And, homeschool and them. yes, they're with me all the time. They're my best friends and they're awesome. So. How do you handle, quote unquote, 12 children? Because I've been around <laughs> them and I will tell you, they are wonderful. Thank I'm you. so impressed, so much so that you're one of the very few people that I'll ask for parenting advice because of what I see in your children. It, it's, you know, my husband played professional football, like you said, and in professional football, when he got to the 49ers, they didn't say, you know what, you're on the team, you've been playing for this many years of football, you've already been playing for how many years was he already playing since mm -hmm. he was, you know, 10, 11 years of football at mm -hmm. least. You've got it now. You don't need to practice today. You know, right. I no. mean, you know, right. every day, right. right on up to the, you know, the walkthroughs, the plays, everything. And they're professionals being paid and, and, yes. and mature adults. So if they have to practice, you know, we, I think we tend to think, I told them that already. Yes. Which we do, and they should. They should pick up things. There's obedience. There's, when I say come here, they need to come here. And if not, you just go over and you walk them, you show them what you want. You go over and say, Mommy said, come here, and you take them by the hand and you bring them over here. That means come here. You show them that. Those things, though, they should pick up a little quicker than, you know, go wipe the counter. And they're over there, you know, wiping like that. And, and you know, to show them how to correctly do a, a task. That just doesn't, you know, that, that takes practice and time. Um, 
I'm a big advocate of what goes in comes out. Yes. If you say it, it's coming back. Um, when, when our first daughter was, was little and she started to talk, we used to do a lot of the what, you know, to each other. Yes. What? 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 Yeah. what? And I didn't realize it and I didn't mind it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when Bruce said what to me, I didn't mind. I said right. what to him, we didn't mind. But when our little Devin started to talk and turned to me one day and I said something to her and she went, what? It was like, <gasps> where'd she get that? Uh, yeah, Who we're, taught her we're, that? We're, and then you, then you hear yourself say oh, it. No. And then you realize, oh my, I say that all the time. Well, it's a lot easier to teach her what you want her to say. So we, we had to make a decision right then that, first of all, we don't care for that, the way that sounded. Okay. So we said, okay, let's replace that. What are we going to replace it with? So Bruce and I figured out how we, what, what would oh. we like it to sound like. Oh. So instead of her saying, what, we're like, what is she really asking there? There, she didn't hear me. She didn't really hear. She's, she's asking to repeat or something. Okay. Because she didn't quite get what we said the first time. So we say, um, excuse me, Mommy, I didn't hear you.